and hello everyone welcome back to another roblox tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look on creating a little bit of the user interface we're going to be showing them their score in a score bar and usually games need to display such information in a GUI which is short for graphical user interface some also like to call it a GUI so let's start by creating a GUI. We need to go here to this starter GUI. This kind of behaves like our 2D objects, but it displays the elements on a player's screen. And it doesn't really remove it from the screen once they move. So with normal objects, it kind of goes away. Like if they look away, you don't see it anymore. But with this, it will kind of st stay on their screen, even if they look away. So let's click on this plus button here and let's search for screen GUI. There we go. So now here we have a screen GUI. Now the screen GUI, we can just click plus and search for, and here actually there's frame. We need to add a frame. Click it. And now it will add this frame here for us, which we can move to be anywhere in the screen we like. Let's recall or rename this score bar frame. And this will house our score bar. Let's then go to the size of the score bar, size, and let's change it a little bit. So currently it is this, let's just make it 0 0.25 comma 0. And then as for Y, we can go 0.08 comma 0. There we go. So now it's a more of a thin rectangle than that big blob that we saw. And this will also scale on screens very nicely. However, on a phone, this size may look a little bit different. It might look a little bit small, at least the Y part of this. So the X, it's pretty good, but the Y part might on a smaller screen look very small. Because this is in percentage, so this will scale to about 8% of the screen size you have. And this will scale to about 25% of the screen size you have. So let's hover over the score bar frame and add a UI size constraint. And then we can set the minimum size of this frame. So this minimum size here, we just say 40 here at the end. This means the absolute minimum size this can get is 40 pixels. So even if it's just 8 pixels from top to bottom, or 8% from top to bottom, that 8% is not allowed to go less than 40 pixels. So this will at least be 40 pixels or more the 8% will just scale it automatically for you. If you know anything about web design, you know that percentages scales with the screen size and pixels always stays the same. So we set 40 pixels here, then it will never go to be less than 40 pixels of the screen size. Anyhow, let's position it. On the frame, we can go and search for anchor point. And we want it to be in the middle of the X axis of the screen. So this first part here, it can go from zero to one. That is a full 100% of the screen. So we're going to say 0 0.5 to ask for half of the screen. And this will anchor it to the middle of it. So the 0 0.5 of it. To actually move it to the center or to the center of the screen, we need to go to position. So the anchoring will only change this one. So now it will be anchored to the center of it. And I'll get to why we need to do that in a second. Then here with this X axis, this one we can make 0 0.5. And that will be in a center. Now the reason we had to do anchor point is because this anchor point anchors it in the center of this item here. So we made this zero like it was. Its center, in quotes, would be this part here. But we want the center to be in the middle. So we say, put the X 
to 0 0.5. And this will basically move it 0 0.5 its width to the left. So we know exactly where the center is. The more you play around with this, the less confusing it will get. So I recommend you play with it and you try and figure out what it does. Next up, we can take a look at the coloring. So let's make the background color and we change that to be black. So we just select black. Okay, and now it will be black. But let's make it transparent because black, it's kind of distracting from the rest of the game. So let's add opacity. So 0 0.6 background transparency. And you'll notice it makes it a little bit transparent. So now if I were to move around in my game, you'll notice it also stays here at the top at the same place. That's the point of this screen GUI. Just like a normal object here, but it stays in the center of the screen. Or where we put it in the screen. So even if we look away, we will still be able to see it. Let's go back here and we can just make sure the border is non-existent. So the border pixel size, we make it to zero. And this will just make it a little bit less distracting. So now it looks like this. Now let's go and just click on this score bar frame here. And let's add another item, UI list layout. So here we now have a UI list layout. Now let's go to fill direction, fill direction. It is currently vertical, meaning it will fill from top to bottom. We want it to fill horizontally from left to right. And in the vertical alignment, instead of being top, we want it to align it to the center as much as possible. So instead of starting exam as an example from here, it will start from here, just as an example. So it's going to go from left to right and it's going to start in the center of its vertical space that it has. Now, as you work with this, it's recommended to test your game to make sure that everything looks as you think you'd expect. So let's go to this test tab here. And here with device, if we click it, you'll notice how it looks on a smaller screen. So this is how the game would look if you were on a phone screen. You can change the specific size here. So this is an iPhone 7. Let's say you don't care about iPhone 7, you care about iPhone 10. And then this is how it will look on there. Or iPhone XR, that's how it will look on there. And you can change it to whatever you need, such as a tablet, a desktop, and we can choose like really big screen sizes in Xbox One, it will look like this. And you can use this to test out how the game will look depending on the screen size you have. Cool. Let's go back to our score bar frame. Let's add in image label. And actually there's one right here. So let's just click it. So now we have an image label. Now if you click it, we can go to image here and we're going to add an image from Roblox. Now, bear with me. I don't really like typing these out. Usually you go to your website, just copy it and paste it. But here we can just say RBX asset ID. So we're selecting an asset with the ID of colon slash slash and then five, six, seven, three, seven, eight, six, six, four, four. Press enter, and there we go. So there's the asset. If you didn't receive this asset, make sure you have an internet connection. And then again, make sure that you typed this correctly. There's the number. Make triple sure this is the correct number. If you don't see the asset, it's most likely not the correct answer. Otherwise, you could literally just go find a different image and put a different image in here. We have covered images in the past. It should work relatively the same. Then here, let's change the size of this image. And let's go here and say 1.25 and then zero. That will stretch it out. And then one, zero. There we go. So now it stretches the entire span there. However, let's change the size constraint here. 
instead of relative xy, we change it to relative yy. And that will make sure it, it doesn't really stretch out as it does. It stretches out as it goes from top to bottom. Now in this score bar frame, let's change the layout order from zero to one. This means that the image should be the first element inside a frame. Currently we won't see any change since the image is the only element in the frame, but it's a good idea to set the layout right now before we continue with anything else. Then on the image label, let's set the background transparency to so this one right here. Uh, we can actually just resize this and you'll notice it says transparency from zero to one. And it will remove that white background we saw. Let's add another item here, text label. And click on it. And uh, my bad, here we should actually go and change the layout order to zero. And we change the image layout order to one, my bad. And in this text label, we change its layout order to two. So one will be first, then we'll have two. That also shows you what will happen. Uh, because we set the it to be placed horizontally, it will order it horizontally here. And then finally, let's go here to size and change it to be one, zero, one, zero. And then again, instead of relative x, y, we say relative y, y. We can change the font to something such as Gotham SSM. That will probably work as well. Make it bold. Then we can change the text to say zero. And we can change the text color to be 255, 200, 100. And then finally, we can change the text size to be instead of 40, let's increase it to 30 so it's easier to read. So now it should look like this. We're going to select the text label and just change the text X alignment from center to left. So it will start the text from the left and not the center. As you can see there, it moved to the left. And in the background transparency, we set that to one to make the background transparent. And there we go. There we have our score. So now if we change it, we can have, uh, let's say one, five, five, two. There's another score. There we go. So now the user can see their score. Later on, you'll be able to add Lua code to program this to change as you need it. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like if you liked the video and subscribe and I'll see you all again in the next Roblox tutorial.